OS3 Raw TV. Hey, Brady. What are you doing, buddy? Brady's back there. Fuck around. This is a little bit of advice to those youngins out there, and I'd say like 18, 17, 18, 19, 20. We'll even go as far as saying 21, okay? I read some of these Instagram posts, Facebook posts, and I, I enjoy social media. I really do. I like looking at different people's you know lives, what they're doing with their accomplishments, even their failures to try to learn from it, no matter who they are. But I read this shit like, get swole, slay pussy. I'm like, slay pussy? What the fuck? I'm like, okay, slay pussy, whatever. Like, you're saying this shit openly on your social media. And I'll tell you right now, the ones out there saying, I mean, if to fucking get swole, slay pussy. Those are the skinniest motherfucking no pussy getting fuckers on the face of the goddamn planet. The reason why you're not fucking getting pussy is because you're talking about slaying pussy nonstop on your fucking Instagram. You think that fucking girl see that and they're like, oh, I'm going to fucking date that guy. Or I'm going to go hook up with that guy. What the fuck? So I kind of go through your Instagram and all I can see is like pictures of you, your buddies, and, you know, the gym. And talking about swole and talking about fucking jacked and I got to eat my next meal. There's not much to you at that point. Trust me, there's not much interesting whatsoever if all you care about is going out having fucking beers with your buddies and fucking lifting weights. I mean, far be it for me to judge anyone and I'm not because I used to be like that. However, I always had a long-term relationship. I was always had a girlfriend all the time. And now we're talking anywhere from two years to seven years while I was doing all this shit because there was more to me than fucking Jack swole, getting big. It, there was there was substance to me. You know, and, and I look at it and I'm like, what the fuck has happened to where you don't give a shit about the fucking gym, anything but the gym, but you're feeling miserably because you're skinny as fuck. I'm watching all these fucking videos of you on Instagram and you can't squat fucking 225 for one deep. Okay, and you've been doing this, you've been like, fucking lifting for four years, and you put it on Instagram. Like, that's something to be proud of, that you have that little fucking progress in four fucking years and look like you don't lift whatsoever. Which means that when you're walking down the fucking mall or wherever the fuck you meet chicks nowadays with your fucking tight t-shirts on, the last thing a girl thinks about is, wow, he must work out. They don't think that at all. They're like, I don't know what the fuck's up this guy. And then you start saying, yeah, I work out like fucking six days a week. You think that fucking attracts women? You know, like, there was one thing I posted up, and the guy was like, you know, if I had 24 hours to live, I'd fucking go to the gym and get a sick upper body pump, hit hit that pussy, or get get some pussy and smoke a joint and fucking die. And I'm sitting there going, Ugh. now granted, that's what you want to do, that's fine. But think about it, if the last day on earth you want to lift weights, okay, now I love lifting weights, but I've accomplished just about everything in the fucking gym already, so I'm probably not going to spend my last 24 hours in the gym, okay, just saying, none of it. Hitting that, getting some pussy, which means you're not getting pussy now. Okay, that means you don't have a fucking girlfriend. And some people go, well, oh, Jerry, maybe I don't want a girlfriend. No, you don't want a girl in your life telling you how fucking ridiculous you are for acting like a fucking twink, walking around thinking that you're fucking swole, talking about fucking swole patrol squad, all this bullshit with your boys. And she wants a fucking a normal relationship with a normal fucking person. So she drops your fucking ass. And then when you go to fucking bars and shit and try to pick up girls, they fucking laugh at you because all you talk about is how big your fucking arms are, how much gains you make. They don't give a fuck. They do not give a fuck as to how much gains you made on your arms this year. They don't. I'm telling you right now, you can go to the gym and you probably fucking, you're, I know you motherfuckers, you're the ones that follow the hot girl around the gym. Like you could be doing legs that day. She comes in to do chest. Next thing you know, it's fucking chest day for you. And you're doing chest workout after chest workout and just trying to fucking be around her to impress her. She don't give a fuck. So be aware, guys. There's so much more to life than fucking getting big and fucking trying to get laid. You could actually be getting laid if you stopped fucking thinking that you were goddamn fucking Lee Haney in the gym and you were growing like a fucking weed and acting like a complete fucking moron around the girls. Like on a, It's one thing if the girl was into the gym and she liked that shit and you talked to her about it. But when you spend a fucking... And when she says, you know, what do you think about the state of affairs that's going on in the world right now with Donald Trump? And you're like, but I, I don't know because I got to gain another inch on my arms. You really fucking think... That, that girl's going to be like, well, fuck, I really like this guy. She's going to be like, what the fuck? I've seen it time and time again. I have me dead friends. And, you know, as they got older, they fucking grew out of that bullshit. So maybe someday you'll grow out of that bullshit. But for now, if you're wondering why you're not getting any pussy, look in the fucking mirror. That's why. BioStrengthTraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biostrength.com is a blog. It's a no pussy getting bicep. What the fuck? And we're out of here.